Okay, I'm starting. Um, I'm here with Monica Lewis Patrick, yes. and you're with, tell me your organization. My organization is We the People of Detroit. And you do water justice and environmental justice work here. Yes, um, social and economic justice as well. And what I was saying before the video was that in San Antonio, we have um, a problem also with water shutoffs, but it's a very invisible crisis. It's, it's under the radar. Um, for example, my neighbors um, have been living without water for probably five or six months and without electricity before we found out, before anybody found out, they were just quietly living through that and we worked to get their water put back on but you know it just you realize well how many more people in the city are going through that things are getting worse too in San Antonio because what's happening there is that the city is pushing really hard for to import water from rural communities um, under the the justification is that, oh, we're going to see a million more people coming into the city in the next 40 years. We have to be ready. Like, we can't rely on our aquifer, which has historically been our, our source of, of drinking water. It's very good quality underground water mm -hmm. uh, and a very sacred source, a very sacred site to a lot of people. Um, and so what the city's trying to do is build this pipeline basically to, um, uh, to subsidize growth between San Antonio and Austin. Uh, with the justification that it's about ensuring future water supply. But to pay for it, people are going to have to, their bills are going to go up, right. are going to go up and up and up for like over 10 or 20 years, right? And so, you know, we have on the one hand that, and then on the other hand this invisible crisis of water shutoffs. And so I'm just wondering if you can share with the folks from our community um, a little bit about what your organization does and some of the strategies that you use to like make that crisis visible and then what you did about it. Well, first of all, just sending peace and love to San Antonio. Uh, we have great admiration for the city and the work that's done there. Um, but for us, in terms of the water crisis, we had to be very intentional about connecting our water struggle to other water struggles across the country and around the globe. Uh, so it was about uh, young people like our rappers and artists and spoken word uh, performers. A lot of times what they would do is use their performance opportunities to connect with other communities as they traveled. Mm -hmm. So that created some intentionality there. Also the fact that we have many scholars among our movement world. So they would use their platforms at universities and college campuses mm -hmm. to sort of uplift that narrative as well. And then we have some, some practitioners that are experts at media